Hey you guys, what's up? This is the Anime Blaze coming to you with some gameplay footage of a fan-made Pokemon game called Pokemon Insurgents. Now, the reason I'm playing this is like, you know, I've actually been looking forward to this for a while, and I haven't exactly played a legitimate Pokemon game in like a really long time. So this is going to be something I'm really looking forward to. And uh, another reason is because I've seen uh, seem like them talking about it online and saying that this, they've had they added like a bunch of different stuff to this version and a lot of cool features that you don't normally see in um, regular Pokemon games and to me I was like oh it's gonna be freaking awesome so I you know I definitely wanted to try it out and see what they had going for it and uh, yeah yeah it's, I'm really looking forward to playing this guys so uh, let's get started Alright, so I'm probably just going to go and mess with the controls a little bit first, or mess with some of the different settings to see what's up. Okay, tech speed, battle speed, battle speed shift. Okay, that looks pretty good. Uh, I'll probably mess with the screen size, switch it from normal to large, and I'll just drag it back in here. Yeah, no problem. So you guys can actually see it what's going on alright so that's that let's see what else we can mess with um, stat change I'll probably mess with the music volume a little bit because I don't want it to talk too much over me or go too loud over me 75 sounds about right okay that looks everything looks good Let me just make sure that everything is actually there and still the same. Alright, cool. Yeah, guys, I'm just trying to mess with the stuff to make sure everything is working in order before I actually start this stuff. So, let's see, that's that. Run Z. Probably going to be using auto save more so than quick save, or both of them, whichever one. So. All right, it looks simple enough. All right, I think we're ready to get started. New game. Welcome to Pokemon Insurgents. Current version release is 1.0 with three badges with the final boss around level 50. Alright, oh yeah, I forgot to mention that. This is the beta version of the game. They haven't released the final version. So, uh, I'm actually glad to uh, even be able to play this one at all. So, you know. Torin region. A fan-made region. One year ago. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you know why you're here. A grave loss has come to the region. The Yager was a great man. He was a hero and a great one. He protected us and our families. You know him as your hero, the man who single-handedly defeated five of the cults. He is one of the greatest men the Torn region has ever known. But... As you know, the Torn region is home to several cults. These cults contain horrible, terrible people. Well, terrible, terrible people, my bad. Thieves, murderers, and worse. The Yager became a hero after he single-handedly defeated five of the different cults in the region. He saved all our lives. One week ago, he went looking for one of the cults that still remained. He has not returned. He hasn't been seen since. People of Torin, I, like you, do not believe our Augur is dead. I assure you, I will work tirelessly to make sure our Augur is found again. With a heavy heart, I accept the burden of becoming the Augur until he is found. Until the first Augur is found, I shall be the second Augur. Something tells me he's ahead of something, just because of the fact of like, uh, while he's gone, I will take the place. There's always some kind of like story set up like that, I can already tell. I promise you, I will use every resource at my disposal to find him. These cults of 
Oh, these cultists have taken everything dear from us. They've taken loved ones and taken our homes, and now they've taken our hero. I assure you, we will not live this down. We will not let these cultists, these terrorists, these insurgents split our families and destroy the place we call home. Long live the Toran region. Long live the Toran region. We will remain strong. And see, this is where the story is actually gets darker. I like this. A lot of people said this is where uh, it's actually getting good. Or this is like the main highlight of it. Would you like to do a challenge run of this game? I don't know what that means, but okay. What kind of challenge run would you prefer? Uh, okay, I'm going to need the mouse. On second thought, I'll cancel it. No. All right. We'll, well, we'll see. What I don't even know what half of these are. Bravery challenge, non-technical mystery run, solo run. Uh, I'm gonna have to look all this up again. But for the time being, I'm not gonna mess with anything. Can you hear me? Please. You need to hear me. Oh, thank Arceus. <laughs> I get the reference. You're not gone just yet. You've got to listen to me. Any minute now, it'll come back. You need to stay focused and remember all you can. You can't stop it from taking your memories, but if you focus, we can delay it. It's coming. We need to be quick. You at least remember your name, right? Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, uh, yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, let's go with that. Yes, I'm sure. Okay, okay, good. You remember your name. What else do you remember about yourself? Do you remember if you're... Yes, I remember. And do you remember what you look like? Ah, oh, great. Oh, okay then. Uh, right? Yeah, I'm sure. Great, you do. This might not. This might not be as bad as I thought. Oh no! It's Gengar. It's back. Blaze, you need to wake up now. <laughs> Blaze, please, before it's too late. <laughs> Blaze, I've sent someone to fend it off and get you out of here. You need to wake up. I'm trying. Ha, ah, Gengar. Alright, the door is sealed and I just instructed Gengar to use its Dream Eater move. It will feed off the prisoners' dreams and memories until there's nothing left. They won't be waking up anytime soon, and even if they do, it's not like they have a Pokemon to defend themselves from the Gengar with. Well, how are our youngest prisoner's memories faring? According to the computer, Miss, uh, Miss Persephone, their memories should be gone within the hour. Excellent. As soon as the memories are gone, we'll have fulfilled our end of the bargain. Good work, you two. Good work. Oh, I read that. We are starting the ritual soon in the upstairs room. Will you be attending, or do you need to stay at the computer to supervise it? I coded it myself, Miss. I don't need to supervise it. It works perfectly. Very well. I'll see you upstairs in a moment. Now. Miss, wait. I have a question. After the child's memories are gone, what do you plan to do with them? Kill them, of course. I expect you upstairs within two minutes. Why are we bothering to wipe their memories if we're just going to kill them anyways? No clue, but thanks for not asking that in front of her. You know how she hates to be questioned. Let's go upstairs then. It's always fun to see a ritual being performed. Something tells me I'm the auger. Please, please, wake up. Wait, what do I do? Oh, that? Oh, okay. Oh, Gengar's confused. What's going on? Hey, it's Mew. What's up, Mew? Oh, yeah, you better run. Oh, Gengar ran out like a little bitch. The Gengar's gone. You can wake up now. Follow Mew and get out of this hellhole and never come back. Knowing our luck, we'll see each other again. Good luck. But I have no idea who you are. Oh, I don't know. What's up, Mew? Good thing. Man. Well, he's here. Let's see, Z used to run. Oh, that's legit. That's a legit Pokemon. Oh, snap. It is a legit Pokemon game. Alright. see. Pokemon. Okay, oh, I already start off the game with a Mew. That's cool. 
bag. Oh, wait, what's this? Jumpsuit. Sweet. Alright. Let's I'm just messing around with the menus here. Okay, that's me. Already got money? Okay. Uh let's see. Options. And it's the same thing as last time. We'll just go ahead and save. Yes, I'd like to save the game. Don't forget you can press V to quick save. Alright, thanks. Instead of a key lock, a fingerprint scan stops it from being opened. Well, I'm just going to focus on getting out of here. A potion! Aw oh, yeah! The motion potion in the medicine pocket. Alright, I don't expect myself to- I'm probably going to run into somebody. A key lock, fingerprint, yeah, I'll just check it. Uh, Check every room because you never know when you might find something. Pokemon games. The Cult of the Tauren region. Would you like to read it? I, I guess I'd like some backstory on this. As far back as written history goes, the Tauren region has been played by gang violence by a number of cults. All of these cults worship a legendary Pokemon in much the same way one would revere a god. These cults have been known for killing and torturing people who disagree with their ideals. While different cults will rise and fall, it is not it is worth knowing which cults currently hold power. There are five cults currently in power. The cult of Darkrai, Ab Abyssal Cult, Absol, I'm guessing? God be. Infernal Cult, Sky Cult, and a group simply called Perfection. I don't like the sound of that. All these cults are extremely dangerous and should be treated with extreme caution. Alright, well, we know the backstory now. Uh, door locked. Again, just checking, because you know, you never know, we might find something. Okay, let's go upstairs then. Okay, let's, can't go through that door in there, so we go upstairs. Wait, what's Mew want? Mew is holding a small note. Hello again. I chose Mew to help you out of this mess due to its special ability. Like all legendary and mystical Pokemon, Mew has an ability that no other Pokemon has. Mew is able to use the transform ability to change its form and disguise itself as something else. However, Mew requires the DNA of something in order to transform into it. If you can find DNA, Mew can transform you into a different person, disguising you. You can use this ability to hide yourself from enemies. You can use this to escape the base. Good luck, your benefactor. Who is that guy? I don't know. Well, I gotta find some DNA. Oh yeah, because I bet you if I use that DNA, I can probably use it to start opening up these doors. Because it needs fingerprints. And I'll probably be able to use it to get through different places too. Okay. So this is this area. I guess that's water or something. Blood. Okay, I think I can use that. Large statue of dark ride. It's cold to the touch and you feel tired just there standing around. Alright, blood. Dried up blood. Yeah, see, this is where it starts getting dark. It wasn't normal blood in Pokemon games. Spider on the ground. Obtain DNA of dark ride cultists. Alright, so... Uh, let's try Pokemon? Um, item. Give. Potion, jumpsuit, do I have the dried blood somewhere? Okay. Okay, this is going to take me a minute to figure this out. I'm guessing I can use it when I need it or something? That's a guess, but I don't know, we'll see. Okay, let's try this door then. Fingerprint scanner. Oh, okay. Thanks. Oh, not... dang it. Ah, oh, nice. That's awesome. Alright, let's go to the downstairs areas. 
to... I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get into some of these places now. Yes! Freaking awesome. Found a potion! I'm just gonna save just cause, I mean, especially the way this game started off, it makes it seem like I'm gonna die almost immediately. So, yeah, you know. You never know. Let's go back and find some other areas. Fingerprints, yeah, yeah. Unlock, yeah. Nothing? What a waste. Okay, wasted my time there. 